Hey everybody, welcome back to Chill Vibes Only CBO Wellness. Today we are going to be talking about how to avoid unnecessary fights or conflict with your partner and the four steps for dealing with you know your heavy and uncomfortable and emotional feelings and communicating that to your partner so they don't get defensive, you don't get defensive, and you can come together to find a solution versus you know blaming one another and potentially getting in a fight that's not necessary. So first things first, when it comes to our feelings, you have to own your feelings 100% and your partner has to own their feelings 100%. So you're allowed to feel a certain way, um, but your partner is also allowed to have a different experience than you and feel a different way. And the sooner that you can learn to respect and acknowledge one another's feelings and not make it a someone's right and someone's wrong situation, the sooner you'll start to not get caught up in unnecessary conflict. So what I mean by that is that our different experiences matter equally and when you're going through a hard experience, there are four things that you can do to help communicate that to your partner without necessarily negating their experience of the situation. So step one is to acknowledge the feeling. So you could say, right now I feel angry, I feel jealous, I feel hurt, I feel ignored. Um, whatever is going on for you, you can say, I feel. Don't say it as a fact. Don't say, you're doing this. Just simply say, this is how I'm feeling and name it. So let it out there. And if there's multiple feelings, you can name multiple ones. Then the next thing that you want to do, step two, is welcome the feeling. So for yourself, welcome that feeling in. Say, you know, I'm feeling really jealous right now because You've been spending a lot of time with your friends and not really spending a ton of time with me and that makes me feel jealous and hurt and angry. Um, you know, there's multiple feelings tied up in that one, but name it and welcome that in. Like really sit with that and sit with how it feels like to be jealous and to be hurt or upset by something. Don't try to like justify in your mind like, well, you know, they've had a really hard week and hanging out with their friends makes them feel better or, you know, maybe this is something from my past that I'm bringing up here and projecting onto this situation. Don't try to like avoid the feeling or make sense of it or, you know, even do the opposite. Be like, and this person sucks and I shouldn't be with them because of this. Just sit with the feeling and be like, this is what it feels like to be jealous right now or angry or upset. And you know, that's okay. And I'm just going to feel that. That's one of the most important things for moving through conflict and not like projecting it or like pushing it onto something else or avoiding it. It's just learning to really be uncomfortable and sit with it, um, which isn't always easy. You know, get yourself in a safe, comfy space. Maybe you're cozied up on the couch. You know, maybe you're journaling it out. Or maybe you're out for a walk. Whatever it is, just make space for the feeling and welcome it in. Okay, so after we welcome the feeling, then it's time to take responsibility for it. So if you're feeling angry or fearful, how can that perceived threat be managed? Or if you're feeling, you know, sad and upset, how can you best comfort and support yourself through that? So the question is really like, what will help here? So, you know, now that we've acknowledged it, we've sat with it, what is going to help us move through this feeling and feel better? Um, is it a hard conversation that you need to have with your partner? Is it, um, you know, canceling your plans and staying in and, you know, having a little self-care night? Is it going to a yoga class? Um, is it taking a couple deep breaths? Whatever it is, what is going to help you take care of this feeling and what is going to help you heal it? So now there might not always be something for you to completely, like, discharge the feeling and pass it through. And also it's not your partner's responsibility to make you feel better. Um, if they want to help on their own, that is 100% okay. But you cannot say, you know, I'm feeling jealous about this thing and you must do X, Y, Z to make me feel better. Your partner has to willingly want to help. You can't be forcing, you know, managing your own feelings and taking responsibility for them on someone else, especially if they're not perceiving it that way. So if your partner has said like, you know, I hung out with you last week. I just wanted to see my friends tonight. I don't feel like that's anything to be jealous about. That's valid for them, right? So this is where we can kind of avoid conflict because instead of you, you know, pushing your feelings and, and putting on your partner and saying, you did this to me and this is why, I'm upset and you know, you must not do this to me anymore to make me not feel upset. 
isn't always helping us. Sometimes we need to sit with our own feelings and be like, okay, what can I actually help here? Maybe it's actually just making a plan saying, you know, I, I really do want to spend time with you. The root of this is just wanting to be closer with you. Can we make time on, you know, Friday night to do something together? Um, and that's you taking responsibility, asking your partner for what you need, and that's going to align them for a better point where they're going to want to actually step and say, yeah, of course I want to spend time with you and, and see you on Friday night. And of course we can do something and, and, you know, rebuild that bond and connection. And they're going to feel less on the defense too, because you're not coming at them, you know, confrontational. You're just coming at them with almost a solution with something that they can do that's going to make the both of you feel better. And that brings me into point four, which is communicating to your partner what you need. So you can say something as simple as, you know, I feel X and what I think would help is Y. So I feel really jealous that you, you know, went out for drinks with your friends last night and I wasn't invited and I couldn't be there. It would really help if tomorrow night we could go out and get a drink together or really help if we could have your friends over for, to watch the football game and, and spend time all together this weekend. That sounds way better than coming at it with, I can't believe you didn't invite me last night. That's so mean of you. Like, why would you do that? I feel so left out. You know, saying things like that can be really confrontational, but instead expressing just how you feel and what would help, a person is much more likely to want to help you and to, you know, want to lean in with that versus getting defensive and getting confrontational. So yeah, those are the four steps to avoid unnecessary conflict with your partner and express, you know, how you're feeling and deal with hard emotions. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe because that really helps our channel. Also, you can give us a follow at CVO Wellness on Instagram. I post tons of different helpful content and information on there, all about sex, relationships, general life advice, and yeah, I love talking with you guys on both platforms. So thank you so much for watching today's video, and we'll see you for another video soon.